over the last um, 150 years, over which, oh, over which period of time we have temperature records from all over the land and the ocean, uh, the, on average, the whole globe has been warming. And the only way to explain this warming, particularly over the second half of the 20th century when the warming was most rapid, is by um, greenhouse gases which are um, emitted to the atmosphere by human activity. Climate models are basically our best estimates, our best understanding of the climate system, all um, put together, that information about the ocean circulation, the atmospheric circulation, what's happening over land, what's happening with ice sheets, put them all together, and then run, turn up the carbon dioxide and see what happens to the Earth's climate. And lots of things happen. The Earth warms, the atmospheric circulation changes, the ocean circulation changes, cloud cover changes. The problem is that different models, depending on how they handle certain things like clouds, um, predict different rates of warming. Some models um, for doubling of carbon dioxide predict a, t a 10 degrees Fahrenheit increase in the global mean temperature. That's huge. That's as basically as big as the difference between now and the last ice age when there were mile high ice sheets over New York and wool woolly mammoths living in South Florida. Some models are very extreme in their responses to greenhouse gas forcing, and some predict not very much change at all, like a degree and a half or um, a degree and a half Celsius, which is about three degrees Fahrenheit. Now, both of those are problematic, but you can imagine that the 10 degrees Fahrenheit warming is much more problematic in terms of how, we, how it affects humans and ecosystems than the three degrees. Which way is, what, what path is the Earth gonna take in response to these increase in greenhouse gases, which are going to happen in the 21st century no matter what we do. Even if we stop burning fossil fuels now, there's still gonna be appreciable amounts of carbon dioxide in, in the atmosphere. So greenhouse gas forcing um, is in a way poking the climate system that is that is very sensitive. So you poke it and you really don't know what's gonna happen in the future.